All right, guys, so I do have a large yard with a lot of trees, so I really had to think about where I wanted to put my Starlink, but the place that I'm standing right now has pretty good exposure to the sky, but I found a primary spot, set it up outside, and then you're gonna wanna grab your ethernet cable. You're gonna find one end of your ethernet cable, which I'm pointing to, and you're gonna go ahead and pick up your Starlink and plug it right into the ethernet port. This ethernet port is located right on the back of the Starlink, right by that supporter stand. It's pretty easy to find. You're gonna pop it in, you'll hear that snap, and it'll be nice and snug and ready to go. So once that's plugged in, go ahead and set your Starlink back down, make sure the cable is not on anything. And then you're gonna find the other end of your ethernet cable. You're gonna grab the Starlink router, which is provided by Starlink. Again, it's the one with the circular spheres on the top. And it has an ethernet port and it has a power source port. Go ahead and plug the other end of that ethernet cable into the router. You'll hear that snap, locks into place, super easy. Then you're gonna pick up your power source, which is that heavy box I described in the unboxing video. And you're going to take the plug-in, which it's a circular sphere, and you're gonna plug it into the other port on the other side of the ethernet cable port on that Starlink router. Super easy, super simple. You'll, you'll hear the snap and it'll be good to go. Now everything's hooked up, so the last thing you're gonna wanna do is take your power adapter, which is the last cord that was provided in the Starlink box, and you're gonna hook it up to your power source. So plug that in, super easy. Again, you'll hear that snap, it'll lock into place, and then everything is connected and good to go, and you'll be able to take your power and plug it in and get it going.